Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this affordable drugstore makeup look that's perfect for spring. I feel like super girly and I'm obsessed with how this look came out. So I did try out a bunch of new products in today's video, which I personally loved. Also, for any of you guys that are new, please make sure to subscribe and also click that bell right below if you guys want to get post notifications. I would so appreciate it. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, right here then please keep watching so I'm gonna switch it up and instead of cat ears I'm gonna use um, little bobby pins to hold back my hair why not hello hello this is an important message regarding the current state of your company's business listing app no and also really quickly obviously everything that I'm gonna use in this tutorial is drugstore but Really quickly, I wanted to try this new product that I was going to do off camera, but I figured let me just try it on camera because I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see it. The new Patrick Ta Body Spray. So I already have the Vita Liberata Body Blur on, which is like a pretty natural glow. It makes your skin look beautiful. But I've been dying to try this, and after stalking him while he was doing everybody's makeup for the Met, I was like, I need to try it. So this is the only non-drugstore product that I'm going to use. If you guys know of any good drugstore ones, um, that do something similar, let me know, of course. So I'm just gonna... Uh, plus I like to do like at least the body blur first so I know what um, color my skin's gonna be so I can match my face to it. By the way, look how cute this little top is. This stuff is literally insane. Like, oh my god. Oh! Patrick, you are... Amazing. I will be drenching myself in this all summer. So now obviously my face is way whiter, so we are gonna match it, but that's again why I like to do like the body stuff beforehand. This you could have probably done last, it's not really adding any color. Um, but if you're gonna use like the body blur or anything like that, make sure you do that first so you can match your face. Figured you guys would want to see that one on camera. So for primer, opening up a brand new one. I have used this one before. Um, but I did get a new one because it's probably sitting around for a little while. This is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Smoothing Face Primer. When the weather gets warmer, I love a good smoothing face primer. You'll see how it will instantly mattify the skin, which I get really oily, so this is a good product to use. I love LA Girl. They're forever one of my favorite drugstore brands. I use their products like all the time, even not on camera. So for foundation, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation in M90. For those of you guys that don't know, CoverGirl is recently cruelty-free, which is so amazing. So I'm so excited to do, be using their products again after such a long time. I have used this foundation before and I do really like it. And I love a good matte foundation. I know with powders and all of that, you basically cover up the luminous anyway but you can always add the shine back with like highlighter or anything like that if you want it so that way it's only in the areas that you want i'm just gonna blend with a beauty blender so to contour my nose i'm gonna use the la girl in toast it's classic i like beautiful bronze and toast toast is a little bit lighter so a little less blending you'll have to do I love this product though because it's really like the perfect nose contour line, like it's the perfect thickness. You don't need to use a brush. Unless of course you're doing someone else's makeup and you, then obviously you would use a brush. And I love this just for the nose contour because it is a heavy concealer. I'm actually not going to use any cream contour for my face because I'm, you know, it's springtime, you want to use less products, the weather is getting warmer. Like during the winter I'll like cake on as much as I want. I know it's not going anywhere if I'm going out, but um... I'm just gonna use like a powder contour, so that's gonna be it for that. For concealer, I'm using the Morphe Concealer in Macchiato. I don't think I've ever tried these before, but I really wanted to try some new products today. Oops, of course. They're very creamy, like thick consistency, I'm noticing. But I heard a lot of good things about them, so. Let's see. I like it. Blends nicely. It feels lightweight. It just has like a thicker like type of consistency, but it blends out 
blends out nicely. And then I'm gonna put a little bit down the sides. One of the reasons I love the LA Girl Concealer is the product doesn't move, which is so nice. Sometimes you have to be a little bit careful when blending that like where you place it, it's gonna stay. So that's one thing that I really do love about these. I just like to like tap over it, like push. So now to set my under eyes, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder. This is a really good one and it's comparable to like the Ben Nye. It looks exactly the same as well. So now to set over the contour, I'm using the Physician's Formula Healthy Powder in DN3. And I'm just gonna lightly, this is a Morphe M507. And I'm just gonna go over the cream contour. This is a foundation powder, so it's gonna go on smoother, which is nice. And then while I have this guy out, I guess we can add a little bit to the cheeks. brush. This is the Natasha Denona 18 brush. So I was so excited to be invited to that YouTube summit that if you guys saw my last vlog I showed a little bit of it. Um, they invite like top creators to come out for like a three-day event and they have like different motivational speakers and like different people that are in the industry and it was just a really cool experience and what's so crazy is I'm about to hit eight years in August on YouTube which is nuts so I'm just happy that you know they didn't forget about the people that were on it forever like YouTube obviously puts a lot of money into like new creators and stuff like that but it was like nice to kind of you know, finally get a little bit of recognition for being on here almost eight years. You know what I'm saying? So it was a really cool experience. I was so nervous. There was one point of the night, um, I'm using the NYX brow powder, uh, brow pencil. Um, when I first got there, it was like, um, like a cocktail hour. And I went down and I knew nobody that was even going. Like there was no like list ahead of time. So I went down, I went to the bar, grabbed a drink. And like, there was just like a lot of like groups of people. Like it seemed like everyone kind of knew each other. So I was like, mm, like literally my biggest nightmare. So I like walked around a couple times. I didn't know anyone. And then I went and like I FaceTimed my sister and I was like, ah, I don't know anybody. Like, what am I going to do? She was like, get it together. Like go up to somebody and like introduce yourself. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Like I, it's so ridiculous, but I'm so bad. Like when I'm alone and I don't know what people like once I warm up, I'm great. I'm fine. But it's just like getting to that point is like so scary. So um, at one point I went up to the back up to my room and I called my mom and I was like, I want to leave. Like, I don't know what to do. She's like, just try one more time. If you're really that uncomfortable, like just come home. Like, I don't know what to tell you. So I went down and that's when I saw Amber and I've been following her for probably like at least a year now. I found her channel on YouTube and it's so funny because when I finally went up to her, I was like, hi, like nice to meet you. I'm Carly. She was like, I've been standing here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out like what I was going to say to you that she wanted to come up to me as well. So it was like perfect. It was like serendipity. And she's literally the cutest thing ever. We got along so well and we bonded like instantly. So that was awesome. So shout out to you, Amber. Freaking love your soul. We had so many laughs. We just had such a great time. And then later on in the night, I saw um, Judy. And I haven't seen her probably since I was in Malaysia. So I did have another familiar face and I also saw Manny there as well. When he was checking in, I ran into him and um, he ended up just going up to his room, but I was with him a little bit for the seminar as well. He's so cute. I would say they're pretty even at this point. It's always a struggle. So I'm just gonna wipe away the powder, the very light hand. For brow powder, I'm using the NYX. Eyebrow cake powder. I like the sound of that. So I'm gonna break into this. <sighs> That's gonna f up everything, ain't it? So I'm gonna break into this bad boy today, the ColourPop 
Disney villains. Villains Disney ColourPop collection. I, when I got this, I was like, oh my God, yes. I need to try this. So, I don't know what I'm gonna use from here yet, but I'm gonna grab something. So I'm gonna try this Misunderstood Villains palette from ColourPop. This is totally speaking to me because I really wanted to stick to like the pink blush tones to match my shirt. So I am taking the Misunderstood palette. I'm picking up the color Tragic and this is gonna go all over my eyelid. I actually prefer using like my finger. I think it comes out more pigmented that way. And I like this matte because it has like a little bit of that pink onto it, which is really pretty. So then I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush and just right there. And with my Sigma E40, I'm grabbing the color Devious, and I'm gonna blend that into my crease, connecting it to my nose contour. So you guys are gonna laugh, but I'm using um this Morphe thing, because I need a straight line. So I'm taking a little bit more of the Devious and I'm just gonna line this up with like my lower lash line. And I'm gonna start blending that color out like past my eyebrow, like that. I'm then picking up the color Fl Flotsam. I don't know how to say it, but it's like this pretty pink color and I'm going to be applying that just right along where my um, eyeliner would normally go. I wanted to keep most of it matte but add like shimmer in certain spots. I'm also picking up a little bit of mongrels. It's a little bit more of like a champagne. So I have cleaned up my makeup collection and unfortunately I can't find one liquid eye pencil, um, at least not right now, that is drugstore. So please leave suggestions below. I'm gonna go out and buy one because I, it's just ridiculous that I could not find one. So I'm gonna have to use my Kat Von D liner but feel free to use your favorite drugstore liner. I have used some good ones in the past so it's not gonna make or break the look. Next, I'm gonna take this NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner. I don't know, I never used it before and like this is how it came. So I'm just gonna take some and I'm just gonna apply it on this and then use an eyeliner brush to use it. And it dries pretty quickly, so you wanna go right in with a little liner brush. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the outer part of the um, eyeliner. I'm gonna go over the black part, so don't worry. And then while it is still wet, we're gonna go in with this ColourPop shimmer. I'll tell you more about it in a minute because I don't want this to dry. And then I'm gonna go over the black line to make it look smoother. With a smaller blending brush, the E25, I'm gonna grab a little bit, just cause I didn't wanna have to dig into a new palette at this point. Just like one little tap to add a little bit more dimension. See, I can even take a little bit off and just blend. To the bigger brush. Just kinda of blend it all together. For lashes, I'm using my go-to favorites. Like, I don't know if I'll ever stop using these because they're just that amazing and they're so lightweight and I'm just obsessed. Uh, the Double 113s by Ardell. And Ulta always has like a buy one, get one half off sale on these. So whenever they do, I stock up. So just a little trick if you are trying to buy these, I would wait because every week at least, usually around every week they have um, like a little sale going on. While that eyelash is drying, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Mongrels shade, which is this one. And I'm gonna apply that in the tear duct. 
and like up here a little bit as well. Just to get a little bit of shimmer, as you can see, but keeping it like matte with like a subtle shimmer like that. Then we're gonna pop this guy on. For mascara, I'm using by Flower Beauty. I need a new one of these. I think every time I use that I say this, but it's so good, I love it. It's a lash warrior. For my lower lash line, I wanna pick up the color Diablo. This is really pretty green, and I was gonna just keep it like all pink and rosy, but after seeing that green, I was like, ooh, it kinda like reminds me of like a watermelon, so let's do it up. <laughs> Such a pretty shade. And then on the outer half, I'm using Facile. And I'm just connecting it to right where my eyeliner ends. I'm not going like as deep as the upper shadow. So in my waterline, I'm using by NYX. It's called Inner Eye Brightener in Linen, I believe. It's like a pastel pink. So like a pink, a nude, a white are all gonna like open up your eyes, which I love. So then I'm taking this Wet n Wild highlighter in the color Precious Petals and I'm gonna highlight under my brow. So next, before I do bottom lashes, I'm probably gonna do bottom lashes, I'm taking the MW2 Physicians Powder and I'm gonna apply that under my eyes, just to brighten a little bit. My power just went out. That's weird, I wonder why. Well, luckily, that's not affecting my filming, but so bizarre. Thank God it's not nighttime either, I'd be crying. You can go over like the nose contour a little bit with this shade if it's a little too dark. Oh, power's back on. So bizarre. Just gonna use a little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna do a little bit of bottom mascara. I'm gonna just take a little bit, cause I swear this really makes a difference. Like if I don't do this for my eyelashes, I get black marks under my eyes like every single time. So every time I do Bottom mascara, now I have to do this. So you could double bake if you want, like on the sides of your nose to brighten it. And I'm gonna use the same Flower Beauty Mascara. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go over, put a little bit more of the bronze um, shade, just to bronze up a little bit more from wiping away all that powder. So as I mentioned like in my last vlog, it's so funny like, I thought I was going to LA for Coachella and I was actually only at Coachella for maybe a total of like 10-15 minutes max. I spent more time on those little, um, they have like people on bikes like that bring you because it's such a far walk once you enter. We ended up getting out of our Uber and walking because that's how bad the traffic was. So I don't know if I'd ever go back to be honest. Even though I didn't really get to truly experience it, but I mean, unless I had another like work event, then I would consider going back, but it's not really like my vibe. Like Stagecoach, which I heard about, um, like just heard about, was probably a little bit more up my alley, but I hate big crowds. Like I hate, I get like claustrophobic and I hate traffic. So it was definitely an experience. I will say that, but yeah, we'll see if I ever go back. Watch next year, I'm going back. Um, but I think it's something you have to experience once, you know? So I'm taking that same highlighter. I keep it well. And it's so, like, I always see people telling me to stop overlining my lips, but like... But I really enjoy overlining them. Maybe one day I'll look back and be like, what the hell? But yeah, I don't know what color I want to do for lips. I have like a pink... Next one that I haven't tried yet. Let's try it. No, I can't. 
This is the Balm Pickup Liner in I Really Dig You. Way better. I love this. Really pretty. I always like to fill in. And then I have three different like matte lips. I'm going to do a gloss over it. Which one? I think this one. This is called Miracle Matte Lip in Bear Honey. I'm just going to do a little bit. And then I'm going to do the Wet n Wild Libra Gloss because I'm a Libra. And I like to apply it like just on the center. And that's how I've been doing my lips. And I actually think with this eye makeup, this lip is perfect. So yay. So now let's wipe away the powder. I know I always use this blush, but I just feel like for this makeup look, how could I not? Um, it's affordable and it's amazing. And if I could only use one blush the rest of my life, I would be so fine with using this one. This is the Sweet Pea by Flower. And now, if you want to, which I don't need to, but I mean, why not? We can add a little bit of this highlighter to glow even more. And I'll do a little bit on my cheeks because it's like only fair with my chest being so glittery. So I actually like originally put these clips in just to hold my hair back, but I kind of like it. Kind of like I'm kind of getting clueless vibes with like this top and everything. So I guess I'll leave it. So this is the final result. I actually am obsessed with how this look came out. I really didn't know what I wanted to do for today's look. Um, that's kind of like how I used to do my makeup, where I would kind of do one eye and then figure it out as I went. And I just get more inspired that way because I just pick a palette and just kind of like go for it as opposed to like stressing on what I'm gonna do. So I really love how this look came out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I love all of these products that I use, so I would definitely say that I back them up. This look was super easy to do, and I will definitely be doing it for the springtime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and also click that bell for post notifications every time I post a new video, which will be a lot this spring and summer because I am back. My house is so much cleaner. I can find products again. It's just... I feel like about 80 pounds of weight has already been lifted off my shoulders because I could not find anything, so I was using the same products over and over again, which, you know, can get a little uninspiring. So, thank you guys for bearing with me for this move of mine, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.